family. Vicki Dillard here and so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please, as you come in, give us the thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to this amazing network. Thank you so very much. Very interesting story here. Family, this piece is by Brian, uh, excuse me, Brad Evans. This has been all over the news too. Y'all, you all remember Kyle Rittenhouse, right? The Kenosha shooter, the white supremacist Kenosha shooter. Well, guess what? Now he's missing. They let him out on bail. They're saying, oh, he didn't tell prosecutors where, he, where his new address. Now he's missing. Remember when the white supremacists raised all that money for him? This is absolutely in line with how white supremacy operates. This piece written by Brian uh, Brad Evans says, prosecutors don't know Kyle Evans, Kyle, excuse me, Rittenhouse's whereabouts seek arrest warrant. A judge allowed Rittenhouse, now 18, of Antioch, Illinois, to be released in November on a $2 million cash uh, bail. Prosecutors have accused Kenosha protest shooter Kyle Rittenhouse. They said has violated the conditions of his release. A judge allowed Rittenhouse, 18, as I just mentioned before, to be released in November on a $2 million bond. He's currently awaiting trial for the shooting deaths of two men who were protesting the uh, police shooting of Jacob Blake. Prosecutors filed a motion Wednesday saying the court was unable to deliver a hearing notice for Rittenhouse at the address he listed at his, as his home on his release paperwork. Now, family, let me ask you something. In what city, town, state, courtroom, any of them, anywhere in America where a black man can shoot somebody and they die? We have footage of this individual with what seems like it's almost military-grade type weapons. But we know he's a white supremacist. And we know it's other white supremacists that raise money and famous stars and celebrities were involved in raising money for him too. Let him out on bond. And you don't know where he is. You're talking about that you all don't keep regular eyes on this accused Let's just call him a mass murder because there's at least two people he didn't kill. In my book, it's mass murder. In, in legal terms, it may be officially three or so, something like that. But he is accused of, a, of killing more than one person. In what universe? Now he's missing? Once again, this story, this incident proves that there are not just two Americas, but this notion of democracy and justice is a fraud for black people. And it further proves that rules and regulations, policies and procedures are made for black folk to follow only. And that the systems are set up and intentionally rigged for white folk to have the benefit. And we keep seeing this over and over again. You saw innocent protesters being arrested. You saw innocent nonviolent protesters in a number of cities being arrested, being beaten, murdered, attacked, and killed. But here you have an accused killer. And you guys are sitting there with a straight face saying, you don't even know where he is or his latest address. America is trying to make amends before the world because the January 6th Capitol white supremacist terrorist invasion and attack on the Capitol humiliated America, white America that is, before the world. The truth is, these types of disparities and injustices related to this, that's the norm in America. America is really trying to do a big, big show about saying that America is back and all this kind of stuff that Joe Biden is saying with the State Department and all that. That has to do because America was busted and white supremacy acted out in such 
an obvious and violent way that it was impossible to keep it undercover. But these are, but, but, but there are multiple incidents like this one that proves that white supremacy reigns supreme and America should have been ashamed a long time ago. She's really ashamed now because the capital attack, but these are things that happen in small town America all the time. And then the question Again, for us black families, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to continue to fight in the same way for an America that proves to us over and over again that she means us no good, that she's not trying to give us equal justice under the law? We're going to keep begging and pleading like little slaves still. Honey, it's time for us to level up and do something different, meaning do something for ourselves and make alliances amongst ourselves and our people here in America and around the world. My name is Vicki Dillard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out this story. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Dillard. Vicki X Dillard. Follow me on Twitter at Dillard Vicki. And be sure to sign up for my weekly mastermind course, my weekly spiritual mastermind course at clubvicki.com. You can still join for $1 for the first 30 days. You don't want to miss it. Clubvicki.com, V-I-C-K-I. Meet me there. Thank you so very much.